Okay, in this example, we're going to find the volume of a sphere. Specifically, they're talking about the volume of a ball, and a ball is the shape of a sphere, which is like a three-dimensional circle. Now, when we're looking at circles, we have diameters and we have the radius. The radius is just the distance from the center out. So if you look at where I just drew my purple line, it's from the center out to the edge. The diameter is the entire length from side to side through the center. So the diameter is in green while the radius is in purple. So let me write that down. The green is the diameter, which is double the radius because it's all the way across where the purple is the radius and it's only from the center out. Okay, so in this example, they tell us that the diameter of the ball is 20 centimeters. So that means all the way across from side to side is 20 centimeters. So to figure out what the radius is, we know the radius is half of that. It's just from the center out, so that's gonna be 10 centimeters. Now, to find the volume of a sphere, the volume formula is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and the r represents the radius. So to find the volume of this, we're going to do 4 thirds times pi times the radius, which is 10 centimeters, and cube it. So that means we're going to do 4 thirds times pi, and then 10 cubed means 10 times 10 times 10, or you can directly put it in the calculator as 10 to the third power. And when we do that, we're gonna get 4188.7902 centimeters cubed. Now I know that it's gonna be centimeters cubed because this is volume, which is three dimensional, plus I know it's gonna be centimeters cubed because the centimeter is being multiplied three times. So centimeters times centimeters times centimeters gives me centimeters to the third power. So this would be our final answer. Now let's check to see how we'd actually put that in on the calculator. Okay, so to put this in the calculator, you're gonna put in parentheses your fraction, four thirds. So we're gonna do four divided by three parentheses. Then in order to do pi, what you're gonna do is look right above your division button, there's what looks like an arrow up button, and then in a different color above that button, you should see your pi. Sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it's green. Because mine is in blue, I'm gonna hit the blue button first to access anything that's in blue. So I'm gonna hit my blue button, which is the second button, and then I'm gonna hit the arrow up button for the pi and your pi should show up here. Then we're gonna do the radius cubed. My radius was 10, so in parentheses, I'm gonna do 10, close parentheses, and now to raise something to a power, I'm just gonna use this little arrow button, and it will raise it up for you, and then you hit in three. Now to bump down out of the exponent, see how the cursor is still up there in the exponent. To get out of that, you can just arrow over, use this right arrow, and it will drop you down to the regular height, and then you can hit enter. And that will give you your answer. So we can put in the answer if we wanted to round it to two decimal places, we could put 4,188.79, but we also have to remember that the units are centimeters cubed because it is a volume. So remember, the calculator doesn't give you the units. You have to be aware of what the units are and make sure you add that into your answer.